G'day, people. I uh, hope you haven't. Mm. Let's try that again. Try that again. G'day, people. Hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, this is a quick follow up to uh, the video I made on how to set up a dual monitor system for ATS or ETS2. Um, a few people have gotten back to me and said that it, um, the setup is great, but uh, it disables the zoom feature or the interior zoom feature that uh, ATS and ETS2 has. I, I, uh, after a bit of um, discovery I, uh, and testing, I found a way to overcome that. And that's what this is for. It's just a, an addendum or an add-on to that video. So you can, uh, if you want the zoom feature enabled, so you can get it to work. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your documents and American Truck Simulator folder or ETS2 folder, whichever one you're doing it on. And we'll just open that now. So you can have a look at it. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. So in the uh, Documents American Truck Simulator or ETS2, go to multiconfig.si, and that's this folder here. And within that folder, you will find, if I've got it right, no, oh, I haven't, okay, staying off a tick, let me find one, you will have horizontal override code, okay, so if we go find Paste it in there, find next. They'll both be at 90. As you can see in this one down here, it's 90. Um, top one that I've got is at zero because I've already set it up to what I want. But it will also be 90. Now, by simply changing that 90 to a zero, so in other words, let's show you this way so you know exactly what I mean. So this will be how it comes when you look in that file. You'll have Horizontal underscore field of view underscore override 90. Just simply take the 90 away and make it a zero. And you can do that with both. But let me just show you first what it looks like with, or what it looks like when you don't do anything to it. Okay, as you can see here, I'm clicking the uh, zoom button and nothing's happening. Wow, how interesting. And now I'll show you what it looks like uh, if you do just the one. Okay. And I recommend that you just do the one, the left side, which is your main screen, because if you do both, it looks a little bit weird. But I'll show you that in a minute anyway. But this is with just the one. Okay. So now I'm clicking the zoom button. As you can see, the left monitor is zooming without any problems or any distortion on the right monitor. Okay, so as you can see, that that's um, that looks pretty good. You can zoom in and doesn't distort your right screen. Now, if you do it with both, like I'll do now, let's get rid of that and make that just a zero. This is what it looks like with both. And to me, I just yeah, I just can't handle it. It's weird. So if you can just yeah, it's up to you which way you choose to do it. But have a look at both and see what you think. Okay, now I'll click the zoom button, as you can see. Yeah, too freaky for me, so I'll pass on that one. So yeah, I, I prefer it to be just the one, so I'm going to put that back to a nine there. So just the first one for me, and that gives me just my left screen. So yeah, that's basically it. That's, that's all you need to do. And that, that will give you back your uh, zoom feature. Um, either on the main screen or on both just depends on what you prefer to do again like I say I prefer to just have it set up on the one because to me it looks a hell of a lot better so anyway I hope that was helpful for you and if it was hit the like if you haven't subscribed do that it's free you might as well 
doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out. And um, if this, you think your friends would uh, benefit from this, share the video with them and let them know. And hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.